How often do you eat junk food or grab a sugary snack? We're in a global obesity pandemic. It is estimated that over 42% of American adults have obesity. Why? Because this 42% of people eat too much and need to eat less? Okay, why? Why is 42% of the American population starting at a point where they eat too much and need to eat less? In this video, we will dive deep into the subject of shredding fat and what your hormones have to do about that. Hey guys, I'm Erin from Erin Plays Fun Facts. In this video, I will talk about the three hormones that are closely connected to gaining and losing weight because hormones are the hidden key to your cravings. Why you overeat sugar and why conventional dieting fails 97% of the time. Our hormones make us hungry, want to burn or store fat. Our hormones could either make us want to lie down and build fat mass, or it could give us the energy to work out for hours every day and enjoy it. Take advantage of your hormones because they can either make you love or hate healthy food. I've conditioned my hormones to love healthy food. I don't have cravings for junk food anymore. Last time I saw candy, I could imagine tablespoons of factory synthesized sugar weirdly being absorbed into my mouth. I wanted to throw up. Last time my mom bought McDonald's fries for my brother and sister, my perception of it wasn't, mmm, golden and crispy fries. My perceptions were the horrifying effects that would take place on my gut microbiome and the risk of getting hooked onto it. The first hormone is called leptin. Leptin signals to our brain that we're full. It tells our brain that we have some energy to expend because we're full. So we want lots of leptin to feel full when we're full and to exercise for hours without fatigue. Next is insulin, a hormone that spikes after eating carbs, especially simple carbs. Insulin suppresses the leptin signal. How crazy is that? When we have carbs, especially sugar, that either reduces or completely stops the leptin signal. We don't get the signal that we're full when insulin spikes. On top of that, you can forget about working out for hours. It's weird because carbs are supposed to give us energy, right? Yet, after eating it, our body tells itself that it's hungry and it doesn't have any energy to expend. Insulin's second job is to store fat. When energy is not expended, what do you do? You store it. That's why carbs are not the same. And that's why there are good foods and bad foods. Not only that, but low quality junk food, even if it doesn't contain a lot of sugar, has a high glycemic load. And the glycemic load is converted into insulin. Once again, there is terrible food. Food that spikes your insulin is trash. Examples of bad foods are low quality junk foods with high glycemic loads, or foods high in sugar that spikes your insulin. Examples of good foods are natural, unprocessed, single ingredient foods that are nutrient dense. And finally, ghrelin. Ghrelin, put simply, is your hunger hormone. After you feel hungry, ghrelin has been released. One of the problems with obesity is why people still eat so much. Why do their bodies feel hungry when they have a ton of energy stored as fat? It's because of ghrelin's surprising trait. Imagine you go on a 48 hour fast. So you don't eat anything for two days. But imagine you get hungrier the longer you've been fasting and your ghrelin is steadily increasing like this. But no, it's more like this. The spikes of ghrelin happen usually at the time where you eat. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's all about consistency. Ghrelin wants us to eat at the same time every day. In conclusion, leptin is your feeling full hormone. That allows you to expend energy. You want an abundance of leptin. Insulin is a hormone that makes you feel lazy. It tells your body to build fat. Insulin suppresses your leptin signal. Your insulin spikes after eating carbs, especially sugar and junk food. Ghrelin makes you hungry. That was a brief lesson on the three hormones contributing significantly to diet, weight gain, and loss. I will upload more fitness and diet videos soon. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Share this with friends and family. Please like and subscribe this video if it helped you, as it's the best way to support me and this channel for free. I'm Aaron from Aaron Plays Fun Facts. Peace.